So I would say five o'clock to get to number one in order to get through. Uh, when they give out the numbers at eight thirty this morning, they give out twenty numbers at eight thirty this morning. Mm -hmm. We came to register a debt, mm -hmm. and we didn't get through yesterday, so we had to come back today, and that is what happened. When we realized the system and it's only one person working, we had to come here early in order to get an early number to get through because we have a debt to marry. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's important to us, but we feel it for the others who have babies and so to register as well. Would you like to introduce yourself and how far you're coming from? I came from Hoover. Yes, my name is Anna Maria Jackson. We came from Hoover this morning. I came with my sister now who is differently able, but she will run in with the wheelchair. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. So um I brought her across because it's her mother that passed away. So I'm assisting that. Alright, but um I, when I came this morning and I saw the line. When the line started to build up, I realized when the registrar came, she came out and she explained to everybody she was only giving out 20 numbers. So I was happy to be here early because of my experience yesterday. Alright? So when the registrar came, how many people were there? Right. Oh, about 50 people. Mm. It was a lot of people. Well, because when the numbers um, was distributed, a lot of them left. Mm -hmm. But some people here hoping that if they remain, after the 20 numbers is exhausted, they may get assistance, mm -hmm. right? But people come here four or five times, so they want to wait, mm -hmm. right? But she prom she's not promising anything to anyone mm -hmm. because she said 20 takes her up to 7 o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And if they're willing to stay till 7 o'clock, maybe she may be able to do one or two. Mm -hmm. But how many of them would be able to sacrifice that time, mm -hmm. you know? So um, I just felt compelled to call somebody to come and hear the situation because this has been ongoing since and the registrar says since the 17th of December she has been appealing for assistance. Mm -hmm. It's her alone in the end of three two because she alone with him. Yeah, right? So after 20 numbers she came out and announced and she's been verbally abused because people are frustrated. You know, so it's really unkind and unfair. What she's going through and then what these people are going through as well. Just state your name? My name is Anna Maria Jackson. Right? And we came from Cuba. To register. A debt. Right? So we got through, we're happy, but um, I just decided to assist the people. Right? Okay. Right? But we have a lot of people there hoping and waiting still. Inside the room is full, with 20 that have a number, and these people are just guessing and hoping that if they, they stick it through, they may be able to get assistance. Alright? But there's only, th there's only so much she can do, one person. So, legal affairs really need to do something about this situation because people need to rest to the children before they get vaccination. It's important that when you have a debt, it's even more critical because you have to bury it in. Right? So she's being verbally abused there every minute. Every five minutes, somebody will here and tell her, you know, maybe something not so nice. Mm -hmm. So it's really a kind uh, atmosphere to be in. Right? So I just want to thank you all for coming and hoping that, you know, just exciting the situation may result in something happening for the people. Right? Kush, Kush. Kush. See, why, where Kush. from? Kush. Kush. How many children? Five, Five children. Sure. Just and left. a baby in a hand and she had to leave because they told her unconditional she's not going to get free. And this is her third time she's coming. Okay. She says it costs a lot to come from, 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 from Kush. there, from Kush. And um, she really not financially. When is when is she going to be able to come back? So she left. Right, but all of them have the same story. Some of them five we're times. Since Saturday, we were since Saturday, and uh, since last year, we're a dead, dead. A dead. Tell us your name. Say it again. Pichan Nanraj. Go Pichan Nanraj. Dan Raj. Okay, good. And tell us what you're here for. We'll try to obtain a certificate. For who? For the Olaf. Who is that person to you? Cousin. That's your cousin. Okay, and tell us when he died. Since. Yeah, but you're recruited. Oh yes, there we go. Oh, yes, no, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. And from Saturday to now, we're running and we still can't get through. Mm -hmm. And we're planning to do the funeral tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Did you get a number this morning? No number, not there. Because when you come here, the line that we meet. Mm -hmm. And that's all the family is frustrated, they are a lot of weak. Mm -hmm. Expense, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You know, so we just have to go with the flow. So you all do not know yet when the funeral If we might get through. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at really where's, looking at where's he being kept? Where's he uh, being kept? Right, mm, he right now well he was in the forensic the body removed the yesterday by dance agency. Mm -hmm. right? And how much is it costing you all a day to keep him at dance? Well, as as soon as we get through, then mm -hmm. we'll clear the expense. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of expense to you? A lot of expense. Mm -hmm. And we're not in our position to say 
you know what I mean? Well, it's you know what I mean? They like that person with disability. I'm going through this. It's very hard, you know what I mean? People me only 20 numbers they give out. You understand? So you tell me from since last year to now, five nights week already. You understand? Well, we don't know if we had to go on next five nights. In order to obtain, we have all the documents here. We're waiting to get through to do this funeral for tomorrow. So we don't know if we might have to go funeral until we could get a number here. Mm -hmm. I find this is very strange, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In a situation like this, I mean, they said they should have more than one people working in this department. Mm -hmm. They have one person inside here, how much you go do? You understand? People coming from far, people eat, people hungry, people stressed out. I had to go through this. And where are you coming from? We're coming from Gasparillo. We left home the quarter past five this morning. Mm -hmm. The reach here. And still couldn't get a number. And still couldn't get a number. Mm -hmm. Are we still hoping? And did, still waiting. Did you try the legal affairs office on Leoto Street? No, but you have to get this register here and then to go there. Okay. To do the computerized um, certificate now. But you had to come here first. Mm -hmm. Then you could go across here. And you can't, be, and can't register it in any other district? No. Because we, we district is um, county. We had to come to San Fernando. But it's very hard to see people in. We have all them uh, office and sighting with the civil long time. All that close and everything taking place here now. And they so, don't have the staff. Too. And they don't have enough staff. Inside, they have one person inside. They look to, to serve how much people the community. Uh, San Fernando is a large area. People from all over the place come in here. You understand? It's strange. I, I don't know how look this lady. What is lady in this chair? Since 5 o'clock they here this morning. So we don't know what you're looking for. Your father, your father didn't want any cancer done. So we're going through this. We find the body outside in the yard that was new. Yes. Well, uh, what we had the virus. But you know, so we fall along in the yard about 12 feet from the house. We thought, you know, police believe it's foul play. So they wanted to do autopsy on the body. And only yesterday we get the autopsy. You understand? But we keep running us on Saturday to see if we could get, get, get it registered. They do the funeral. Up to now, nothing. Uh, 58, 58. Two, four, eight, fifty eight. Two, four, eight, five, eight. Yeah. And the name and address? Uh, thirty seven B Carter Bonaventure. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so introduce yourself and tell me what the issue is with you. Hi, my name is Sally Alla. Right, I came yesterday to register my baby, right? Because with all the registration, you cannot take the baby to the health center to get vaccinated. Right, her appointment is on the 14th of January. Right, when I came yesterday, they told me to come back this morning. So I came back this morning. I reached about quarter to nine. I was told they were giving 20 numbers and they gave out all the numbers and they will give no more numbers today. And if we wish, we can hold on and maybe if they finish with the 20, they might be able to take us. Mm -hmm. However, there is only one lady working, one person. Mm -hmm. I would just like to know why they would not send anybody to help her. Because I am understanding that this situation has been like this since the 17th of December last year. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Southwest is a third of the population. So therefore, you should have, if there are three windows, have three people working, please. And that is my situation. I just want my baby registered. Thank and how old is baby, sir? My baby is eight weeks today. Mm -hmm. Right? If you don't have the registration, you cannot take the baby to the health center. Baby will not be vaccinated. The vaccine schedule will be upset. Mm -hmm. the vaccination is supposed to start at two months. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm Ready? Yeah. I'm Jayanti Karipasad. I live at Davy. This is the fourth time that I'm coming here with my baby to Legal Affairs to get him registered. Uh, he's, what, 10, 10 weeks? And I'm supposed to get him immunized on the 13th of this month, which is next week. Mm -hmm. And still, the situation is such that we cannot get through. Because the first time I came, the computer was down. 
we were sent to. The second time I came, we were told that the numbers were given out to go home and come back. The third time I came, we were given a number. I was given number 59. I came after lunch. And people from morning were still being served. So, so about after five, the personnel was there. Minutes of six, we left here and still I didn't get through because she just couldn't make, right? Mm -hmm. Her working hours are from eight to five. She went beyond the call of duty. Today we came back again, the numbers were all given out. We just don't have the energy. I have three children going to school. It's very, very hard and difficult to come here every day, every time, stand and wait and wait and be told the same thing that you can't get through. I mean to say is Ministry of Legal Affairs, they are registered, there are three windows, one registered working. What happened? I mean, she is only human too. Mm -hmm. She needs to have assistance in there mm -hmm. because it's just not her. She have a family at the end of the day. She needs to go home. I'm sure when she goes home, she's tired. We are tired also coming here and waiting, trying to get assistance, but there's only so much she can do. Right now, I'm trying to see if I can wait and get assistance to get my baby registered so that he can be immunized mm -hmm. next week. Right, and it's the same thing with everybody here. We're waiting. Deaths are being put off, put off because only 20 numbers are taken. Our plight is that we would like more personnel or registers to be in there working so that we can be attended to at the public. That's all. That's all. So, you plan to come back if you don't get through today? If I don't get through today, I have to come back. Mm -hmm. It will be fifth time since I'll be if If I don't get through today, it will be five times I'll be coming here. Mm -hmm. They need to implement. Probably the community. We used to have the registers in the community where we could go and register. Maybe they could re-implement the, the program so that we can go there and don't have to be sorry, waiting here to get things done. Right? But it's really unfair to her and really unfair to us too. Right? They need to do something about the situation. Thanks. I just People used to work on that department, right? And apparently the fire and they have one person working on that department now and that causing a serious issue. I would like to know that if it have somebody in authority who could come and address the situation to assist the people with their problem. Because a lot of people come in here with babies, people with a debt and have to turn back home. I hope somebody pay attention to this situation.